Hi guys, today we'll be talking about a very unique topic, how to fix environment variables, stable environment variables, and how to edit stable environment variables. Now, this is very, very important uh, when you want to edit the parts of your Windows operating system. For example, when you want to install Java or any programming application software, you need to what? enable the stable environment variables. Now, this is how it looks like. Um, okay, let's go. This is how it looks like. Yeah, so if you can look at this interface like this now, look at the upper part. The, this is the page for the environment variables. You can see that this, the edit, the new, of the upper part is what enabled. The lower part is disabled. So how do we fix this issue? So this is the problem, this is the problem that most um, programmers and developers and system users really have. So let's go straight to the point. Uh, my name is Bashir Ola Premier, your um, instructor for today. So the first thing we'll do is to check. How do we check? Um, Go to Windows from your Windows um, type settings. When you click on settings, then click on system from system type environment variables. Even before you finish, you see it comes up environment variables. Then if you look at the upper part, see I want to I want to enable edit and add a new part here. You can see that it's totally what disabled. How do we enable it? That's the big question. That's the big question. So the best close is how do we end up with now? To resolve this issue, you have to look at what's the second way of route or part of resolving this issue. So how do we do first? If you want to resolve this, you go to your windows, click on what's called control panel. So when you click on control panels, click on what systems and what security. Next, click on what system. Now, now this is Windows 11. You can see the interface I'm using. Yes, I'm. So, depending on the type of operating system you are using, this page varies. Now, for lower versions of Windows, um, this is how it looks like. If you can so, you go to what? Change settings. But for us using Windows 11 or Windows 10 uh, higher version, you click on what? Advanced what? System settings. Let me repeat myself. Advanced system settings is still the same thing as uh, change settings. Do you get my point? So let's click on what? Advanced what? System settings. From here, click on advanced. Then click on what? Environment what? Variables. Now, if you click here, you will see that what? The part see, here is what enabled. So you can what? The environment variables here is what is enabled. So when you click here, you can see that you can what? Have a new part here. Click on new. So this configuration is very, very, very important. Yes, and so it's very, very, very important, and this is a short overview of how to work, enable it, your um, your disabled environment variables. Uh, my name is Bashir Alafmi. Uh, it's nice um, having this what short video to see you all now. And next one, we're going to class every Bye, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye.